All right, to get to this control board, we have a couple torques. We're gonna take off the power wire, go into the battery. I got to remove this plug because this is attached into the circuit board, and the circuit board needs to come out with the panel. So that needs to come out. We got a couple of torques. Two torques. All right, so get your battery nut off, or the battery cable nut off, which is a half inch socket. Um, also, I suggest disconnecting this at the battery bank, but I'm just going to be careful and put that out of the way. We got two plugs, which just come slide right out. There's no clip or anything. And there's your old control board. There's the old board. It's been cleaned up in the past when I was inspecting it. Completely covered in dust and soot. Now we got the new board. Which is very similar, except for a few things. They've replaced three diodes with three massive, much bigger diodes. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. You can see those big old diodes up in there. Might be the reason these go out. Pretty similar. A lot of the same components. You can see on this older one, we got some gold plating on the pins. You don't see that too much anymore. Just some plain steel pins right there, or aluminum pins. Nothing fancy plated on there. Got this flight systems. And here's a back comparison of the board. For those curious. Pretty easy to see where this goes. Switch at the bottom and the fuse at the top. It does look like this has even been potted or sprayed with some epoxy until he didn't do a very good jugs or some hair in there or f brush fibers or something that is definitely coated with something so that's good how do you recall that Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. See, a little plug goes on the bottom. And a big plug goes on the top. And then there's a couple clippies here. Two clips on the bottom that need to go in first before you put the top in. Don't 
don't forget this plug. Again, this is hot, or it's connected to the battery, so I'm going to be very careful not to ground this wrench out on anything. Again, I do not suggest doing this with the battery connected. Okay, so the next step is going to be getting out this voltage regulator right here. <clears throat> so it looks like there's just a bolt on this side and I don't see anything on the other side. So hopefully there's not. There's just a clip in there. So let's get that out. It's a pretty small nut. 8mm. Oof, that don't look good. Should have looked at that in the first place. Well, where's that? See, this thing actually looks like a burst. A little exit point there for some gases or something. Yep, probably should have tried this in the first place. go pretty nice uh, pretty nice unit there got some nice uh, potting compound I've never seen uh, flexible before I mean I've seen like this stuff which is slightly when it's new slightly pliable but this is I don't know what this stuff is but it's nice I like it now it looks like the plug is no longer recessed into the voltage regulator It'll have itself has just a plug. With a pigtail. So it looks pretty much pretty much the same thing. Let's go put it in. So on the last voltage regulator we had a capacitor with separate wires running up and in and it, apparently on the new one they've just combined it all into the unit and I suppose renders these useless so I will just tape those up out of the way okay, just kinda, this just goes back in on that clippy nut and bolt to put on the front I suppose all we gotta do is just connect the plugs looks like it goes like that There you go. 
go on top of this. for the control board. That was a 10 millimeter. These are eight. You see the two here are obvious where they are. This one, since the plenum or whatever you call that ductwork is going that way and kind of covering up the other bolt, it feels like that is on the inside. Right back in there. Let's take this off first though because got some wires going into there. So that little plastic nut was an 8mm as well. Probably don't need a wrench to get that off. Neither 6 nor 7. So it must be a quarter inch? Must be. Okay, is there a specific way this goes on? Hmm. I'm gonna find a way to mark this.
Some real bitty little things. I'm gonna go get my magnet tray here in a minute. It's probably a good idea. Okay, and then we got a hose clamp. This will, looks like this will become detached when I unhook the plenum and give it a twist. See this kind of a slot and there's probably a way for that to pop out. Probably if this gets twisted sideways it'll come out. Thank <laughs> you. 